Hey guys, welcome to a walkthrough of the Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot deck. Um, this, I'm doing this walkthrough for um, Y from On the Cusp Tarot and Colin from Prison and Co. Um, they have requested it. Um, and um, this will be an out of order walkthrough. Um, so, <clears throat> and I am sh sure there are many, many walkthroughs of this stack up on, on the YouTube. Um, but, um, thank you for joining me for mine. Um, <clears throat> Dame Darcy, she has a shop on Etsy. This is the first edition um, I might add of this mermaid tarot. There is also a second edition, um, and I think you can no longer get the first edition. Um, these are the backs that you're looking at, and um, I don't like any of her other artwork except her tarot decks. Um, and then some of the cards in here I also don't like, but something about this deck, I mean some of the cards I love, Something about this deck really resonated with me. Um, I used to live by the ocean. Uh, I spent like three years there and um, I don't know. It reads really well. I've done a lot of readings with it and um, I find that this deck re reads really well. And um, I just love the oceany sea vibe. And there's also a lot of sailors without their shirts on, which is fun. And also some sexy mermaids um, as well if you're you know, whoever you're into. <laughs> um, and um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started to show you the cards. And um, I'll put a link in the description, of course, to um, the her Etsy shop, Dame Darcy's Etsy shop, where you could get the second edition. And there are some differences. And I don't have the second edition, um, but someday when I get it, I will do a comparison video because there are a few cards that are different and apparently there was some controversy which I had no idea there was. Um, but anyway, so I just lucked out and snagged a first edition uh, deck. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can get the cards. Um, and the first one we've got is the Empress. And got a lot of shadows going on here, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and the tower. These are out of order. And then, um, Y and Colin did a f really funny and hilarious, um, a look at the major arcanas alive of this deck. And I'm going to link it as well because it is so great. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, if you want some really good, fun discussion about um, the uh, these cards. And Colin does a lot of discussions about art, the art of the tarot on his channel. Um, so, I'll also link both of their channels. This is Temperance. It mostly follows the writer Wade Smith. Um, so if you're familiar with that system, you will see a lot of similarities. Um, I think there are some cards that don't follow it at all. They're just like the Emperor. Looks like we're going through the majors right now. I have no idea the order of this deck, but <laughs> Hermit. Uh -oh. There we go. Glare. I think the Hermit is one of the ones that is different. So, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Well, that's the last one of the majors, but, you know, we're not. This is the Moon. And I had a really hard time connecting with this moon card until someone in the live suggested um, that it could be Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And that really, um, that really helped me connect with this card. 
Um, so I, I like it so much better now. <laughs> And you know, there's not a traditional crab or um, uh, I think the, there's wolves and usually the uh, traditional Rider Waite Smith ones. It's just, um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's just her and we've got octopus um, tendrils sticking up out of the water as well. Judgment. See if I can get something a little, little better, you guys. I've got like an ancient camera that I do all my recording on. So, <laughs> and I am supposed to get a new one, but I have to find one, decide, make a decision of which one I want, and. The star. I love the star always. It's one of my favorite cards in every deck. Um, I think that's definitely one of the ones I look at when I look at a deck. Um, but it's not like an overall deal breaker if I don't like the star, if you know, to not get the deck. Um, this is Justice. Chariot? Oh, I like the chariot, you know, with the dolphins. You cute. Super cute. So some of the cards are cute. In the world. Hero font. got the sun. So we don't have a baby on a horse, but we do have quite a young lady on a seahorse. Um, I think this is preferable <laughs> to the naked baby we usually see in the Rider Waite Smith, um, even though she does look still quite young. But it's, it is a super cute card. She looks super happy. She's like, yay! So. Got the Magician. This is not one of my favorite cards. But. But he's super sexy. So. Alright. This is the High Priestess. And she's in like this white like gown, which is pretty cool. Strength. This is death. It's a pretty unique death card. Like the little death and the huge guy. Um, right. <laughs> so there's like some humor here. I think it's really kind of funny. Um, just the proportions of the two, the death and the guy, and the, I mean, the very scary seahorse. Um, and I think it captures the death having a sense of humor thing. The devil. <laughs> also, like, the devil's expression is insane. <laughs> so, um, I do find this deck has a lot of humor in it. Which is really good. This is the, um, the hanged man, which is great. Our, our first sailor dude. Um... I really like the the boxiness of the drawings. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks very like how her drawings kind of have this sort of boxiness. Well, a lot of them. Um, that's the fool. And 
we're going into the Myers. This is the Ten of, of Wands. Okay, maybe we're now in some sort of order. This is the Nine of Wands. Yep. Eight of Wands, one of my favorite cards. A movement card. In the Thoth, it's the Swiftness card. I like it. Things happening, things moving. And these are the all the paddles churning up the sea. All the, yeah, the oars. <laughs> oh my gosh, leader expression! So it's just, I mean, it's just, oh my gosh. This one always reminds me of, like, such a cat fight. Look at them. All the mermaids, like, at, you know, pulling each other's hair and stuff. Whacking each other with <laughs> oars. Oh my gosh. That's really cute. It's like the little mermaid. They're prints. The three. So we're sort of going in some sort of reverse order. Like I said, I had no idea how this deck was, and so okay. Two. And each of the card has her little signature, Dame Darcy, twenty twelve. So I guess that's when she um, made this deck. This is one of the decks I got really early on when I was collecting. Um, this current round of collecting. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I just try to get decks that sort of speak to me somehow. Um, it's really overwhelming. There's so many decks. Um, so, yeah. Then at some point, you're like, you transition from like using all of them to I love the Queen of Wands here with all of her like a petticoats and everything. And, um, yeah, she's great. And the sunflowers, she's just feisty and rawr. I just, I like it. I love it. Um, yeah, so sometimes you, you just, at some point you have a big enough collection where you just can't use all of them, or you don't use all of them, and you sort of become more of a collector. Um, I mean, or maybe you would use um, the ones you have sort of less often. Um, which, I mean, I, I love collecting them. But I, I do... You know, I do want to use all of my decks. Um, it's the king. Look at that guy. Half of his face is in shadow. Yeah. And he's very androgynous. So, that's cool. Um, and this is the ace. Still out of order, because I don't think we've seen the queen yet. Oh wait, we have. That line. <laughs> uh, okay, so swords. Oh my gosh, yep. Ton of swords. It's like the boat's on fire down there, and the horizon's like, the sun is setting, but it looks like it's just on fire. It's not a good day. <laughs> Stuff's going down for this sailor. <sighs> That's my refrigerator. I apologize about that.
I'm in the kitchen, everyone. <laughs> um, this is the Nine of Swords. Oh, I like this one. The the moon there, showing shining through her hair. Yeah, that's really cool. The eight, also a tough situation. Um, she's surrounded by swords and tied up. So, she's pretty, she's pretty, she's in a stuck situation there. This is seven. This is six swords. And sometimes these cards are in the nighttime, sometimes they're in the daytime, sometimes they're at sunset. I just really like that idea, you know, of the time of day playing into these cards. Um, I don't know if too many tarots do that. Um, I mean, it sort of makes sense. Look, oh, this one's stormy. Because, it, um, you know, you're on the ocean and you know, the weather does play into things. So she's really used that in her, her cards the five of swords I feel like the five of swords is kind of like a bittersweet card you know he got he won he got all the swords he got the prize but kind of it's he's still not satisfied so that's how I feel like about, about that card this is the four And this one's underwater, so some of them are even underwater. This is the three. It's more typical of Rider Waite Smith with the heart pierced with the swords, although you do have the eyes. I think they're like crying blood. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty difficult card. Um, I mean, although in reverse, it is, I like this interpretation. In reverse, um, it's like all the swords have fallen out, and so that's more positive. Like, you can tell, like, gravity, and just pretend like all the swords have fall, fall out. And um, then you get some relief from the situation, and some, maybe some healing. So I, I like that interpretation a lot. I forget what book I read it in, but, um, yeah, I really like that for the for the three, and this is the two. Another of my just general favorite cards. Different moon phases too, so sometimes the moon is full, sometimes it's a crescent, like in there. Page of Swords. It's interesting because the sword suit is a suit of intellect and intelligence, but yet this queen of swords is crying, which more would be like the queen of wands, which is about, uh, no, the queen of cups, which is about emotions, right? So that's really interesting. That why is she crying? Um, it's the King of Swords. I hope the refrigerator is not too loud in the background. But you guys have probably gotten used to the little hum now, so. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Alright, we should have cups. Oh my gosh. Ten of cups. Everything's happy and awesome. The nine. 
Nine of Cups. Still having a party. Maybe this is the pre-party. Eight of Cups. It's kind of looks like it's winter because there's no leaves on the tree. Um, it's windy. It looks like it's sunset. It's a great card. Seven more. Typical Rider Waite Smith. You're trying to make a decision. There's a lot of things to decide from. Decide to decide. Uh, six of Cups. No, oh, isn't that sweet? Um, five of Cups. Four of Cups. Three of Cups. And she does use, um, you know, she is, does use both genders. She does use, um, so she is. Um, she has some, uh, she is inclusive, um, maybe not in, in body type, but gender, race, a little, a little bit, um, mermaid, non-mermaid, <laughs> I love this one. It's all pink and white. It's really cute. Page. The king. Sorry, the knight. <clears throat> You know, so not everyone is white, but um, queen, king. This guy is always really silly. He reminds me of Bacchus, you know, just with the wine and of course you get the Roman or Greek. Uh, I don't know which one is Bacchus, Roman or Greek, but. Anyway, uh, the Ace. Okay, so this is the Ace of Pentacles. Haha, <laughs> that's a rule. I always mix up the Ace of Cups, and then this is the Ace of Pentacles. I like this lady a lot. She's awesome. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Look at her awesome hair. She's she, other ladies have this kind of hair. I think I think Dean Darcy is a fan of this black and white stripey long hair, which I am. Oh wait, here's another one. So, yeah, it's cool. Seven. Or maybe it's just all the mermaids in the pentacle suit have similar hair. I haven't noticed that before. Six. Five.
four of pence. Three is working on the statue. Two. That's the page. The night. The queen. Yep, all with the stripey hair. And last we have the king of pentacles. I hope you have enjoyed this fabulous walkthrough with me. Um, if you're new, um, welcome. Um, I guess I should have done this at the beginning. <laughs> um, and if you want to hear me ramble more about herbs and tarot, um, please think about subscribing. Um, and hit the like button. Hit the bell. I do uh, a live herbal book club every week on Thursdays um, and other maybe random lives. So if you want to know when I'm live, get some notifications. Um, all right. All links will be in the description. So I will talk to everyone later. Thank you. Bye.